Hey y'all! Welcome back to another video. <sighs> you guys, it's been a long week of finals, but your girl got through it. Oh, listen, my last final was supposed to be done tomorrow and I got it done yesterday. So, I'm free. I'm a free girl. I am free again to basically do things that I like to do, <laughs> not homework. Um, but, so today I have a pretty busy day. Um, I have a lot to do. First of all, me and my friend are going to, um, where are we going? We're going to um, the Snow Allegra concert tomorrow night. So I need an outfit for that because I literally have nothing to wear. I was searching in my closet and I just wasn't feeling anything in there. Plus it's really hot. I feel like I have a bunch of winter clothes. So I wanna pop into Zara and probably H&M, see what I can pull from there. Um, and yeah, also I wanna go to Sephora. I ran out of, let me see my list. Cause I wrote a list down. Cause you, I be forgetting. If I don't write a list, <laughs> we might as well just. Well, first of all, if I don't write a list, to be honest, I'll still go and like get everything. No, okay. I'll get a bunch of stuff that I don't need. I'll get a bunch of stuff that I know damn well was not on the list that I don't need just because. Girl, I don't even have an explanation for it. But anyways. Um, so I wrote a list so that I can strictly stick to this because I don't need to spend any unnecessary money So I need to get vitamin C because I ran out of vitamin C just today um, Sunscreen and moisturizer um, I'm actually I don't think I told y'all this but I'm going to um, Hawaii I think yeah girl Anyways, I'm going to Hawaii um, I think on the fourth yeah on the 14th and I come back on the 19th. But anyways, I'm going to Hawaii. I ran out of sunscreen. So of course I need sunscreen if I'm gonna be out there in the sun all day. And I just need sunscreen in general because sunscreen is just so important. Like I really learned that over like the last two years because of my skin issues that I was having. But honestly, sunscreen just helps so much it helps to prevent so much from happening to your skin because the sun is just so powerful that you can't have like your skin just walking around not protected you know what i mean so not like skin walks but y'all know what the fuck i'm trying to say um excuse my language i really have a potty mouth and i need to stop cussing so anyways but don't judge me please don't judge me and I won't judge you Cause if you're mm -mm, Then it'll be beautiful Okay, anyways And then, so my girlfriend put me on to some like curly hair products Um, the other day I was at her house And she was like, well, I want to see your hair curly Like, we were about to go somewhere And she was like, why don't you just do your hair curly so I wet my hair and put in some of the products that she had at home and those products were so good for my hair like they did not weigh my hair down they didn't like give me this like crunchy coating on top of my hair like my hair was still bouncy it was good like really good so I was like girl you need to send me all these products so that I can purchase them so she texted me, them to me so I'm gonna go try to find them in the store she really ordered it on Amazon but I need it like now I can't wait for two days shipping okay so I need to go I'm gonna try to go to the beauty supply and see what they have there I also need like an eyebrow pencil I ran out of that and then I need the I really want to try the take is it called take the day off that's what I wrote um basically it, if y'all don't know what it is, it's like, it kind of works as like, you know, some people use coconut oil to like take off or like to break down the makeup particles before actually washing your face. So that's what I want to get um, from Sephora. And then I have to return a few packages. 
and then it already sounds exhausting so y'all let's go it's already it's 2 52 so hopefully we can be done um by seven or six hopefully i highly doubt we'll be done by six but because we have to go to i look so orange mm, this lighting is horrible but okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look for a drop-off location that's close to Dunwoody because I'm not trying to be all up and down Georgia like no so I'm gonna find some locations that are closer to the mall and then we are going to go to them so that I can just like not have to do the most but I actually kind of want to go to Zara first because these packages can be like dropped out tomorrow but I really need an outfit so I think that's what I'll do I'll go to Zara and Sephora first knock those out and then we'll drop off the packages It's a no for me. Like, I'm literally busting out of it. I mean, mind you, it is a medium, and I probably should have got a larger size, but they didn't have a large. So, sometimes, like, dresses are, like, stretchy. So, you know, I like to try it and see if it'll work, but it didn't. So, I'm getting out of power because they literally have nothing else. I came back to this dress, like, three times to see if I wanted it, but mm -hmm. it's just not, not flattering at all. Like, I would have to like stick in my sunny look. So I need something more free flowing, less form fitting, and weather appropriate because I'm not trying to be hot. I sweat very easily. So we're just gonna take this off, okay? Okay, y'all, so. That was a fail. I really couldn't find anything at Zara. Um, so I went to H&M. They didn't really have anything either, but I found some like basic pieces and I'll try, we'll see what I can muster together and see if my creative juices flow, if I can put an outfit together. I mean, it's just a concert, but I still want to be cute. You know what I mean? So, we'll see maybe like how I accessorize the items will be cute but I basically got like you'll see it I'll show y'all when we get to the house but um now oh I need to go to Sephora okay it's getting so late y'all because <laughs> I feel like I was in there forever it's five o'clock and I said I wanted to be done with this by like six or seven so I can always go to Sephora tomorrow. So let's go return these boxes or these um, items since they're already in the car. And then, yeah. Let me adjust it real quick. Okay. Siri, get us out of here, please. Y'all, they be shopping in Georgia, okay? Because why is the mall packed on a Monday? That's 
the questions I have. Like, do people work anymore? Look at me talking. <laughs> Let me be quiet. <laughs> but maybe school is about to be out and yeah. But, and then I also need another outfit because graduation is on Friday and my friends have no little graduation get together and I need an outfit for that too. So, we'll see. I packed a few things. I mean, I purchased a few things. I can see if I can mix something up with something that's already in my closet. Um, we'll try to make it do what it do. But let me have Siri take us back. Oh, let me tell y'all. Okay. So, I'm at Zara. And I think there's like a bunch of basketball players or something around here because, um... Like, I'm just seeing a lot of, like, basketball player-looking people, if that makes sense. Like, really, really tall people. Like, women and men. So, and they don't look like, like, model tall. I mean, they look more athletic, is what I'm trying to say. So, I'm in Zara. I'm looking at things. No luck. Whatever. And I'm, like, at the front of the door like you know the entrance or whatever and when I look up whew, I'm telling you God God just be flicking the wrist on some people you know what I mean like this man walked in this man walked in and he was so so beautiful like Oh my gosh, she was beautiful. And I never really look at people in the face, especially when I think they're cute because I have like, I don't know, it's just this like intimidation factor. Like, I'm like, oh, I can't stare at them too long, you know? <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Like, if you do that too, comment down below because it's a thing. It's like, I can't look at you too long. I don't want you to think that I'm like too into you. I don't know. It's just this whole thing, whatever. But I could not take my eyes off of this man I could not take my eyes off of this man I was staring and he he like walk, he's really tall so he probably didn't even see me he just walked right past but like I was looking at him like and I had to kind of like catch myself like okay <laughs> it's so embarrassing if someone has seen me oh my gosh but Ah, oh, that man was beautiful. He was like this on his phone when he walked in. Like, yeah, so um, where I'm going to go and da 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 Like, I don't know. Someone was like instructing him on the phone like to go to Zara. Probably his lady. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I just had to say that. He was so fine. He was so beautiful. Like, mm. And I've been seeing a lot of fine basketball player looking men lately. I don't know what's going on. Is this a fine universe? <laughs> like, you trying to tell me something? But no. Nah. Mm. Anyways, girl, let's, let's get going. I'm already wasting time. I'm not trying to be... Oh my gosh, it's traffic time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we got to go back my way. I'd be damned if I'm stuck in traffic for so long. I need one of those like car camera things. I had one and I broke it. Oh, now I gotta do this with the camera, but I need one of those. I am so tired. So I woke up this morning at like seven because I'm. I don't know what's going on with this lighting. But anyways, I woke up this morning at like 7 trying to like, um, well, that's when I was really supposed to wake up. And I stayed in bed for a little bit. So I didn't like go running until like 9. So I went running at 9 and, hold on. I'm trying to get in here too. Please and thank you. So like I said, 
like I was saying, so I went running at like nine. And y'all, I made oatmeal, right? <laughs> Embarrassing. I made oatmeal, but the oatmeal, okay, so I made oatmeal and um, left it on the stove. I go upstairs because I was booking my lash appointment. So I go upstairs to grab my card and I just like, oh, and my hair appointment. So I'm talking to them on the phone or whatever. And I'm asking her about the hair and if she knows how to do specific styles and stuff like that. Girl, I get so caught up in that that I forget that I have um, oatmeal on the stove. So all of a sudden the alarm just starts going off like super loud. Like the house was burning down. I was so scared y'all. I ran downstairs so fast. Everybody in my house woke up. They were like, what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Girl, just some burnt oatmeal. Just some burnt oatmeal on the stove. You know, nothing, nothing big. But, girl, everybody was so mad at me because they were still kind of like sleeping. But I burnt the oatmeal. Not only did I burn the oatmeal, but I burnt the pot. The pot is fried, honey. I'm just really glad that the house didn't catch on fire. And, yeah, I'm very glad about that. I don't know what I would do with myself if that happened. So, we praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, I went to the bee supply and they didn't have what I needed. So, I'm about to just send this box back. I mean, well, this item back. And then, I think I will head home because I really do not want to miss, um the Met Gala and it's already started you know people start coming early and I'm obsessed with the Met so I have to make sure that I'm home in time to see somebody you know Rihanna Beyonce maybe shit so yeah let's hurry up y'all people just people act like they've never seen a blogger before it's really kind of awkward but it is what it is. So there's that Amazon like shipping thing in this Kohl's that I come to because it's like closer to my house and it's free. So, so I'm returning the roller skates that I got because um, I feel like they're a little childish not gonna lie to you they well to me they feel a little childish so i'm returning them and i'll find a different pair to get i mean it's not bad but it works hello how are you good I'm returning this mm -hmm. Thank you. Huh? That's for YouTube? Yes. Okay, cool. Do you have a YouTube channel? Not yet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You have a good one. Hey y'all, so it's the next day, it is, let me put this volume down, it is currently Tuesday, May 3rd, 2.37, I am on my way to my friend's house um, to get ready for the concert, she lives much closer, so I'm gonna be there while, um, I mean, just to get ready and stuff, and then we'll probably take a few, like, some pictures before we head to the concert. But let me tell y'all something about what happened yesterday, okay? So, okay, first of all, I was able to find an outfit. I found one outfit and, like, a hat. So I wasn't able to get the graduation outfit, but I was able to get the concert outfit. So I'll try to get the graduation outfit like later. But oh, 
I think this is illegal. Okay. Oh my gosh, I look so red. Okay, anyway. So, like I was saying, so, okay, yesterday I went to the beauty supply store and I was pulling into a parking spot. So, like, out of the junction, there was a car that was about to come out and there was, like, open parking spaces and stuff and there was a car that went in and it looked or appeared to me that they were going to park on the left side. So I come in behind them and I park into one of the parking um, spaces on the right side. Girl, tell me why I got chewed the f out. I got chewed out so bad by this lady in the car. So basically, the car that I saw going in taking a left was actually taking a left to do a reverse in the parking lot. So, you know, she was like, reverse parking. Um, and apparently, I parked in her spot or I parked in a, like, I did something wrong. <laughs> That's all I know. I did something wrong because she pulled up so aggressively next to me, like reversed, but like next to me, like right next to me and went off. What? You didn't see me? You didn't see me? My, you, that could have been an accident. Like going off on me, honey. All I could do was say, I'm so sorry. <laughs> because like, I've been told too many things about people with road rage and like just situations like that. I don't want no beef. You got it, ma'am. You got it. I don't want no beef with you. You can have that. So I was like, I am so sorry. I did not see you. I didn't know that you were coming into this spot. I saw you turning, you know, basically what I just told you guys. And I was so calm about it. Like, you know, trying to be so sweet and so calm about it that it calmed her down. Lord, thank you. She was like, you know what? It's okay. It's just, you know, I have my baby in the back seat. You know, I'm on like mommy mode. And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally understand. You know, I do apologize. Like I kept apologizing. I was super apologetic. Like, especially when she said she had her baby in the car and I saw the baby. And yeah, so y'all, I felt like she was my mama cussing me out. Like that's how it was. But I was, yeah. But that was the situation basically. Um, but I felt so awkward and so bad to be honest because I mean, I didn't know, you know, it wasn't a situation that I could be like, oh, that she's trying to reverse in here. No, I didn't know at all. Plus there was a car blocking my vision. So I couldn't see her when she was um, reversing. I just thought she was about to park in like that, the, the left side, you know? So aside from that, <laughs> y'all, I am so excited about the Snow Allegra concert. I feel like I've been ripping and running this whole month. I mean, these last couple months. Um, and I feel like this summer is gonna be a great summer! Woo! If you guys don't know, if I haven't told you guys, I'm actually going to my, why did I say Miami? Maybe I am going to Miami this summer. I think that will be a trip. Um, but I'm going to Hawaii this summer, actually within the next, like less than two weeks now. So I'm very excited about, about that. I've never been to Hawaii. I'm so excited. I low-key feel like I'm going out of the country. Technically I am, but it's still the United States. But either way, it's Hawaii, girl. <laughs> Hawaii, we gonna be by the water, on a beach somewhere. I might meet a cute little man. Not little, big. <laughs> I might meet a cute, big man, okay? BDE, cute little Hawaiian, you know. Yeah, I'm very excited. So I ordered some pieces. I just really hope that it comes in time because if not, I'm gonna be in Hawaii looking dry and I need to give the, the girls looks, you know, like there needs to be content created. I will be blogging, of course. Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited. And I, I know I didn't show y'all my outfits yesterday. I just really wanted to try it on and I was super tired and hungry. So 
I tried on the outfits and the ones that I didn't um, like, I returned it to, I returned it back to the store. Well, we're right on schedule. We're right on time. We're having a good day today. Woo! Yes! Get pumped up. Get pumped up for your day. I hope you guys prayed, meditated, just sat with yourself for a moment. I hope y'all did all of that because it's very important every morning. I'm actually listening to this podcast um, by, I'm sure y'all know Ricky Thompson and I think his name is Denzel. Um, they're like best friends or whatever and they're super cute. They talk about everything. So I'm just listening to their podcast for the first time. I think I want to start a podcast, but let me... <laughs> You know, I already got a lot of things that I'm putting on my plate. Let me master vlogging first, and then we'll probably get a, a podcast. Because I just feel like I have a lot to say um, about just life in general. Like, the things I've been through in life and, like, you know, different conversations. I love diving into different conversations. So, I think that'll be fun. But we're going to get YouTube popping first. Yes! like afraid or I guess awkward carrying my camera into stores and like vlogging things you know like now I'll carry it into the store I probably won't vlog it if it's nothing important but just like me carrying it into the store has already like attracted viewers to my channel which is like amazing honestly because people are curious to know what you're doing you know and that's just that's just that and that's why we have so many successful YouTubers and instead of me being super like shy of like people's judgment or like what they think of me carrying a camera around or you know things like that I need to just vlog and be in the moment and just live you know so those are little lessons I'm learning along the way and I think vlogging is really helping me with that so we are going to keep bringing content. I can't guarantee that it's going to be twice a week or even once a week, probably once every two weeks, but we will try to push out content as much as possible. So yeah, but yeah, I'm excited. I'll see y'all when we get to Alexandria's house um, because I kind of want to focus on this road. So I'm almost at her house, but I want some fries. So I'm about to get me some fries. Let me actually call her and see if she wants some. I might give me some else too. Hey, you reached Alexandria. Oh, I think she's on the phone with that person. Okay. Hi, can I get a large fry, please? Um, and then I'll do. Um, actually, that is all. Yes. Um, ketchup, please. Three forty-five. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Y'all, since when McDonald's fries went up to three dollars? This is crazy. Like, prices are just skyrocketing. Like, I feel like I just, probably a couple months ago, had some McDonald's and their fries were not $3, okay? I am hungry. I'm on a cal calorie deficit, so I can still eat what I want, but I just have to be out of less calories. Hi. Good, how are you? Thank you. I'm 25. Okay. I should really start carrying change around. Thank you. You have a good one. Let me get this here. Right. Yeah, the large fry? Yes. Okay. And what else did you have with it? Um, ketchup. It's in a bad bag. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You too. All right, we out. Okay, y'all, so I am all ready for the concert. This is what I'm wearing. It's giving very, it's 
giving like 2000s boho, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, this belt is gonna irritate me, but I'm wearing a belt, these cargo like pants, they're so comfortable, I freaking love them. Um, and then this like kind of tube top ish, but it has like the strings with the little rectangle detail. And these are the heels that I'm wearing. And I'm kind of just going to tie it crisscross on my um, pants. And yeah, so, and then my Gucci dupe bag. And we are headed out, honestly. I'm not putting my shoes on until I get in the car. But this is the outfit and this is the makeup. Very cute if I must say so myself. She's I put a lot of blush on, like liquid blush. I just love that look right now. So yeah. And then I have on these like earrings. Yes, it's giving. Okay. See y'all at the concert. Hi guys. Um, so we are at the Hill Hill concert. Hill Hill. Hill. So it's so nice to be here. I think we should sing a song so about I'm gonna show y'all about love, about connection, and but before we do that, I want to introduce someone who's very important. This is my We're friend, at the Jacob opening act. Golden. I'm so sorry I could not we show my outfit or be getting ready because we had to hurry up. But we're here. Pictures on the screen of your outfit. Oh yeah, I will insert pictures on the screen of my so outfit so that y'all can um, see what I have so, on. This song but is a song that I wrote for my little brother. you guys I almost cried like there were so many things like in that concert <sighs> oh my gosh you guys when you have big dreams sometimes you just feel like it's so far away and like almost unattainable but like you could I'm about to cry oh god okay. but you kind of have to like emotion. you kind of have to like keep keep the faith you know and believe that things are gonna work out for you and today was just like a huge confirmation for me there's like so many things that happened within the course of the last couple months and it just brought me to the point that i'm like my dreams have no choice but to come true for me and it's, it's happening like it's currently in the process of happening and i'm so happy like this concert was so good so good. So like, good. We're sweating. Oh it was hot. It was packed. It was I don't know packed. how the people down. She said we were it. her favorite audience. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, audience or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, she's, she's so she's amazing. If you wait, where are you supposed to look? Oh, there. Oh. You can, no, you can. If look. you haven't been to a snow concert, you need to go. She's so beautiful. Highly like recommend. Best her voice she's even as good in person like she has such stage presence a 10 out of 10 she just glowed aside from her outfit her outfit was glowing but her herself like you could just feel her energy was so positive and just like oh uh, yeah 
10 out of 10. So would highly recommend. It was such a great concert. Yes. Today was just, today was so much fun. Like I'm always, I mean, I try to remember everything, but today I'm just so going to remember. I'm so yeah. glad I met Elaine and we became Aww. friends. And like, this was just so fun. So fun. Such a vibe. Wow. You will see more of us. Oh yeah, and another thing. So when we were, so when we were like in the line or something happened with the ticket, right? Yeah. I mean, that absolutely. means that was meant to happen too. Oh my God, yes. All these oh freaking God. signs. Oh my God, that really was. I literally could wow. like cry right now. <laughs> but so, okay, we're, okay, so I purchased the tickets for the both of us um, and then she paid me back. But what happened was I had the tickets. But I sent her copy over because, you know, I just wanted her to have it as proof that I, you know, purchased the tickets or whatever. So I told her when I had purchased it, because we were on the phone together, I was like, I sent you your ticket. You have to accept it. She felt like just by opening the email means that she accepted the, 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 what's it called? The, the tickets. Girl, my, my brain. <laughs> Um, she felt like that meant that she accepted the tickets, but she had to actually click something on there so that the ticket can go into her file. But she didn't do that. So we come here today and we purchased these tickets, what, in November? Huh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we purchased it in like November. That was like, what, seven months ago? Yeah, that was a while ago. <gasps> seven. No, it wasn't. Was it? What? Freaking Yo, freaking what is away. happening? That was seven months ago. Wow. Oh my. That's weird. That's trippy. Anyways. Um, wow, that really was seven months ago. Oh my. Yeah. God. So, anyways, I sent her the Guys, tickets. Guys, stuff is. Just remember seven, okay? Okay. Like, I don't know why, but just remember. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. Okay, okay. so. Um, wow. ay, 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 no this girl over here speaking Spanish. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, where, where did I leave off? Okay, so the ticket uh, situation. Yeah. So we get to where we have to scan the tickets. I scan mine in and I attempt to scan hers, but because I already sent it to her and she, she, like, she has it, she had to scan her own tickets. So basically, she couldn't find her ticket. We were looking all through her emails, trying to get her into the um, Ticketmaster like e um, logins and everything. Like we were standing there for about 20 minutes. Like people are like going in front of us and everything. And then finally, we like oh. And then as we're waiting or looking for our tickets, this lady comes up and she compliments us on our outfits she's like i saw you guys in line when we were walking in and i was like oh my gosh their outfits are so cute um like i would totally like wear these outfits and like i don't know how you put it together to alexandria or whatever is that what she said mm -hmm. basically yeah she was complimenting both of our outfits and, yeah like, asking questions yeah, she was like asking questions and stuff like that. So we're like, thank you, thank you. She walks away. Girl, two, two, what, like 10 seconds later? What, we found the ticket? Is that your thing? No. Oh, she, she oh, came yeah, back. yeah, 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 yeah. So Weird. like, we're like going back to looking for the ticket. 10 seconds later, she comes back and she's like, can I get a picture of you guys? You guys look so beautiful. I just really want a picture, da, 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 da. And we're like, wow, like... <laughs> okay yes it really threw us off plus we were looking for the tickets so it was yeah like, we were like so focused on the tickets and then she comes back like i want a picture of you guys please can i get a picture of you guys that to us was just confirmation because mm -hmm. we're both aspiring well we're actresses you know but it's it's easy to say you're an actress and it's harder to book or like to get the opportunities okay. that you really want mm -hmm. as an actor you know so just the fact that this entire week, like, I've been going to places and people have been sparking conversations with me and really talking mm -hmm. or, like, seeming interested in the mm -hmm. things that I'm doing. Like, I was vlogging and I'm sure you guys saw the clip from pre earlier when the, the guy, um, when I was dropping off my Amazon package, he asked mm -hmm. to subscribe to my channel. And then at H&M um, yesterday, that happens. Like, it's just... 
I don't even know what to say, but like so many good things are happening this year and I felt it in my bones, but like today was just another confirmation and I'm seeing the number seven. Oh my it God. It just turned seven, seven minutes. Girl. Ah. And as I was about to say the that number seven, so seven minutes popped up on my my monitor. Wow. <laughs> seven is it. Seven like, is seven. the number. I don't know what that means, what sign the universe is trying to give to me, but I believe it has everything to do mm -hmm. with my dreams. And even we, I was listening to the podcast. Um, what's their name? Denzel, Denzel and Ricky Thompson. Yes. They were talking about how they both were in L.A. for seven years. And mm -hmm. they didn't start popping off until after seven years of them living in L.A. So, and I heard that today. And I've been hearing everything about 777. I just don't even, like, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I don't know what to say. I'm going to research seven. I'm going to journal about today. Like, today was just a beautiful day. Good vibes. Good, good vibes. people. Like, I'm so happy to have met someone as genuine as Alexandria. Oh, I know. She's like, ugh, sentiments. No. <laughs> but no, like, literally... Uh, y'all don't understand like I have journals and journals of me like talking to God and talking to the universe about the things that I want in my life and I just feel like it's all happening for me and I mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't mm -hmm. even like <sighs> but mm -hmm. I know I'm trying so hard to hold back tears because I mean, I'm a good. wimp I cry for everything crying is but natural it is um, but I'm, yeah, today was a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed the Snow Allegra clips. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hey, y'all. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. I don't think I said that in the intro of this video. But, hi, welcome to my channel um y'all let me just tell y'all something that just happened to me so i'm at cvs right the pharmacy and do i look orange to y'all i don't know why i look like this i've been looking orange in this camera so i pull up to cvs and this i should say caucasian but this guy walks past my car and he's like he looks at me and smiles so i smile back and I guess that was a sign to him. So he gets in his car and he starts reversing or whatever. And I get out of my car. I'm walking into CBS and he stops me like, hey, hold on, hold on. Can you wait? So I'm like, what do you want? So he starts asking me like, hey, I'm, he said his name was something. I can't remember. But um, he said he introduced himself, asking for my name. And um, so I told him and everything. And then he was like, um, he was like, um, do you smoke? Why is that a question you ask someone? Is it because I'm black? <laughs> Let me stop. But he asked me if I smoke. I was like, no. He was like, well, you're beautiful. Um, you're really beautiful. You're gorgeous. Um, can I ask you, are you married? I said, no. He said, do you have a boyfriend? I said, yeah. Y'all, I know I need to stop using this, but I cannot help it. Like, please just leave me alone because I know the moment I say I don't have a boyfriend they'll be like well um can I get you you know like I don't even I want to avoid all of that as much as possible so I basically just told him yeah I told him yeah and then um he was like oh man that's too bad and he was like make sure you tell him that I said he better take good care of you and um that he's so lucky and I was like yeah he knows that and he was like I hope he does and he was like, well, you have a good day. And I was like, you as well. I felt that was like, that was so awkward, but I don't know. I don't know. Cause I feel like he kind of creeped me out. And that's why I said what I said, because I go off of my initial feeling like into like intuitively and something about him just didn't seem right to me. So I just like basically told him like, nah, <laughs> I just had to lie. But anyways, I am, I just came from CVS, grabbed my grandma some medication, and now I'm gonna go to Sephora and probably 
um, another retail store just to see if I can get a top for the graduation because I still don't have a top. So I have to go there and then I have to go to get some cards for like graduation cards and then I want to get cookies for crumbles for the graduation girls. So we're going to do all that. I'm very pressed and crunch for time so I don't know if I'll be able to record everything because it does take time to kind of like talk but I may do a little um bond a little montage for you guys just so that you guys you know see where I'm going so okay that was a burp <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, can you point me to where the sunscreens are other than Super Goop? Do you um, have other? Any specific brand? Um, no, I just don't want Super Goop. Okay, oh, there's one. Um, Shiseido has a few different ones. Okay. Uh, that people seem to really like. I know my friend uses the stick. She really likes that. Okay. And then these are invisible, um, right here. And then that one's like, uh, I don't know. What that but these are 50. Really, really, really like the dermatological ones. Have you used it? Yeah. Well, I haven't used the sunscreen. I've used their products, though. Um, I think I just have this sample. Of it, okay. People love that sunscreen. Mm. Like, they, like, swear by it. Every really? Everyone buys it. And it's not ashy on, like, my skin tone? I don't know. I... I've seen black women come and buy it. Mm -hmm. I've never used it, so okay. I can't like so say I've never seen it. Bit. The like super viral um, glow recipe one. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy about it. Um, it tends to pill. So yeah, I definitely don't yeah, want I don't that. Really like that. I like that you're not wearing makeup. This is my first time coming to Sephora and not seeing someone with makeup. Oh. <laughs> but it, it shows that like where we're going is more like yeah. skincare, and I like that. So. Yeah, I'm like skincare junkie. <laughs> yeah, same. I become more of a skincare junkie, like because I used to wear a lot of makeup, yeah. and it would just clog my pores really bad. And then I had to go to like the dermatologist yeah. and all of that. It's just better to take care of your skin yeah, first time. Yes, you're so. clear. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for your help. Hi, can I ask you a quick question? Um, where's the take the day off? Do you guys have that here? We do have them. Okay. What brand is it? Is this Patrick Star? No, it's like, does he have one too? Take the day off. Clinique? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get it, but we have so much stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm like walking circles in this place. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I want to try this. Is my first time using it, so if I can try the smaller one, if you have it. Perfect. So this one is that is 34. Oh. And the. You're Almost walking? double, yeah. I, I think I'll just do the large one then, because <laughs> it's a better price. What's your channel? Um, my channel, like, what what do I show on it? Yeah. It's like blogging, makeup, skincare, like every day. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Um, Anel K. Okay. Do you have your phone on you? Oh, sorry. I'm not gonna... <laughs> you look beautiful. Don't say that. I was gonna tell you, your skin is nice. Like, oh, you thank like, you. Really the same oh, really? Like, when you was coming across, mm -hmm. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. I just got it done. So I'm doing my checklist. I pretty much got everything that I needed on here. I don't know if you have to see. And I'm checking these off. Oh, I also got this one. So now all I need is the curly hair product, which I don't know why it's taking forever to get. We're getting things checked off. I don't know why my camera keeps getting blurry, but it's gonna be okay. 
You guys, I just love how strangers are so supportive. Like, more people support you that you don't even know than the people who you do know. And it's just crazy to me, but that's part of life. And we appreciate it. It's so cute, girl. Excuse me. Hi. I'm good in yourself. Did you find everything okay? I did, yes. Um, do you have a beauty insider account with us? I do, yeah. Can I have your phone number in that pin back for me, Yes. You currently have 1,106 points. Did you want to use any of those points today? Yeah, um, can I use it for the dollars? Yeah, for the dollars off? Yeah. Did anybody help you on the floor today? She did. Are you oh, and can, can I call multiple people or just one person? Um, you can call multiple people. Okay, it was that other girl. She's taller and black. Okay, so now I have to pull up to H&M and find something, and yeah, and then we're on our way. I'm so proud of myself. I'm getting stuff done, y'all. Um, I'm just going to pop into H&M real quick, see what they have, probably get like a top. If I don't find one, I don't really know what I'll do, y'all. Um, let's just hope that we do find something. I haven't been in Victoria's Secret so long. I think like me working there at one point in my life has like really turned me off from it because I don't even like to step foot there. Like you will not see my face in Victoria's Secret. I'd rather give my coins to black women like Riri. So. Okay, but let's see what H&M got y'all. Let's see. You're fine.
All right, y'all, I have to be quick about this because my battery's about to die. But I got some cookies from Crumble for the girls for graduation. Just a regular chocolate chip cookie. You know, like, who doesn't like chocolate chip cookies? Um, and then I got a lemon um, one. Oh, it smells so good. And it's real lemon on top, too. That smells so good. Mm, I might want that one because I ordered four. One for me, whichever one they don't take. So I'm okay with trying pretty much anything for the first time. And then this is a pink berry cookie. Mm, everything just looks and smells good. And then I got another one of the same pink berry cookies. So yum, very exciting. Um, I'm gonna put everything back. They put the order on it like four out of four, two out of four, three out of four, so I want that in order. I'm OCD like that. Um, three out of four, two out of four, one out of four. And then, um, Target is right here, but I don't want to get any cards from Target because their cards are like overpriced for no reason. So we're going to go to Walmart and get cards from there. And then I'm going to head over to Alexandria's house where I'm going to spend the night because she lives closer to the graduation area and um, I'm not trying to be late to it. So I'm spending the night there tonight and then we'll all go together tomorrow. So... Yay! So proud of my girls. Graduates. Okay. Let's head out. I hope they like these cookies too, because I spent money on that, okay?